So, good day to all. It's such a pleasure to welcome you back to week three of Devtober Fest Tooling and Frontend Tuesdays. We are delighted that you are taking part in Devtober Fest, a celebration of learning and a prep for upcoming TechEd, where you get to equip yourself with SAP's emerging technologies and innovations. Try out hands-on tutorials, be part of fun events and earn points. Here is a heads up, the top 10 winners will be awarded an all expense covered trip to 2026 TechEd location. This sounds so exciting. I am Rekha Diar, a developer advocate at SAP and will be host for this session, Generate Process Artifacts by Importing BPMN Models from Any Process Design Tool. Do interact with us. We would love to know from which country you're joining us from. And you could ask your questions throughout the session in the YouTube live chat. Now let's welcome our expert Rama Sulakshani Murari. Rama is a senior product manager, SAP Build Process Automation. She is a technical product expert with nearly 20 years of experience in SAP technology, such as SAP Business Technology Platform, SAP Business Rules Management, SAP Business Accelerator Hub, and SAP Mobile Services. She is currently a product manager for SAP Build Process Automation. All right, it's time to hand over to speaker for topic presentation. Over to you, Rama. Thank you, Rekha. Let me just share my screen. Hope you can see my screen. Yes. Okay, thank you. So yeah, I'm Rama from the product management team of SAP Build Process Automation. Uh, welcome to this session where we can see how to generate pro process artifacts by importing the BPMN model from any process design tool. Okay, so the agenda of this session will be like, we will see a quick overview of what the feature is all about, followed by a demo. So the what the uh, challenge the customers face today uh, is that they, they might have modeled their process in any external tools like SAP Signavio or SAP uh, uh, Cloud ALM or SAP NetView BPM or for that matter in any uh, external third party tools like IBM also has a, a tool to uh, uh, model their processes, right? So they could have modeled their processes uh, in any of the external tools and they want to migrate to SAP build. So they don't have a direct migration path and that is a challenge uh, which they are facing currently. So with this feature of SAP, uh, with this feature of BPM and import, they can reduce the development time from model to execution a lot. They can scale the delivery and adoption in the customer projects. They can align process documentation and execution across the tools. This BPM and import falls under the uh, umbrella of enterprise automation. So what is enterprise automation? To help the customers stay ahead of their competition, SAP offers enterprise automation, a framework which brings in the capabilities of three solutions together, which is SAP Integration Suite, SAP Signavio, and SAP Build. So with this enterprise automation, it can be analyzed, discovered, integrated, and automated across heterogeneous environments. As the wheel suggests, there is no one single starting point. Uh, say, for example, customers uh, who are using SAP Build, uh, they can leverage the uh, SAP Signavio's uh, process insights or process mining capabilities and vice versa also, right? Uh, and now we will see what are the common use case patterns uh, which is possible between SAP Signavio and SAP Build Process Automation. So there are three typical use cases. The first one is the process recommendations, wherein uh, SAP Signavio Process Insights receives direct recommendations to use the pre-delivered content, which is in the SAP Build Process Automation, for scenarios with high automation potential. 
The second use case pattern is from insights to actions, wherein you can define conditions in the SAP SignaView process intelligence, which will automatically trigger the processes and automations in SAP build. Last but not the least is the model to execute, wherein you document your processes in SAP SignaView process manager or process governance. And using this BPM and import feature, you can generate the executable processes in build process automation. So the focus topic for today will be the model to execute, wherein we will see uh, in the next part of uh, uh, the session uh, demo, where a process which is modeled already in SAP, SAP SignaVio process manager can easily be uh, imported into uh, uh, SAP build process automation. We, we are not saying that uh, you can migrate uh, 100%. But with this BPM and import, around uh, 65 to 70 percent of your uh, uh, process will be generated automatically, and you need to do the rest uh, uh, 20, 25 to 30 uh, percent of the configurations manually, so that the process is ready to be uh, executed. But still, it will reduce the development time from model to execution. That's what we want to uh, showcase in the demo. Without further delay, let's get inside the demo. Okay, so in this demo, what you are seeing is the SignaVio process manager where the process is already there. So what we have considered in this session is a CapEx model, uh, which is already modeled in the SAP SignaVio process manager. And from here, we are trying to export this process as a BPMN file, right? Uh, once it is uh, exported and downloaded as a BPMN file, we can import this into SAP build process automation. Sorry. Okay. So uh, in this demo, we will see the exported, how we can import the uh, file which was exported from the uh, SAP SignaView process manager. We are now in the um, build process automation. We have created a project already, and uh, what we are trying to do is, we are just trying to import the uh, BPM and file which we have uh, exported from the uh, SAP SignaView process manager. We are browsing for the BPM and file, and we are trying to import it. So the artifacts, what you already see is just created uh, in the interest of time. Uh, Otherwise, you can go ahead with the uh, empty uh, project also. Here, what you're seeing are the warnings because uh, there is no direct compatibility between the artifacts which are from the SignaView process manager and build process automation. So you see a warning that uh, it will be replaced with what is called a placeholder. So what is a placeholder for every artifact? Um, you can see that no, like this is a placeholder of type form. We are just replacing the uh, placeholder with the actual form and we are trying to just fill in the uh, mandatory parameters here. So this is the manual configuration which I was talking about. You fill in the subject here and then you fill in the recipients because these details can't anyway come from the uh, BPM and file. So you fill this manually this form has been created already in the interest of time, but uh, you can go ahead and create the uh, form manually also. The next one, what you see is a script task, which has already generated the code uh, for you. So all that you have to do is you have to just adjust the code according to the context variables here, and then just do a validate script. It is now valid, then you apply it. Now your script task is also ready. Then what we see next uh, is a placeholder for sub process, right? So what we are trying to uh, do here is uh, we have to replace with the sub process. So as you can see, the placeholder also provides you hints on what is the artifact actually all about. And you can uh, uh, go and uh, fill in the mandatory parameters here which is what we are doing from the context. 
and as you can see now that uh, red mark is gone telling that the uh, artifact is now valid okay now proceeding to the next step this is an approval form the first form was a submission form uh, and the form what you see now is an approval form so the placeholder is giving you hint that it should be an approval form so we can go ahead and replace it with the approval form and we can fill in the uh, mandatory parameters as we did uh, in the previous steps right we are filling in the recipient here then we need to map the input variables uh, for this form to the current context and that is what we'll be doing now we are uh, filling the project description now from the uh, request form So these are the simple manual configurations which needs to be done so that uh, the process is made executable. Yeah, we are filling in the vendor details and we are done now. Uh, as you can see, again, uh, this approval form is in a consistent state now without any errors. The next step, so this is the procurement uh, approval step. Then. The CAPEX process can have multiple steps. As you can see, there is a, a finance review approval. So again, we will be uh, uh, filling in the mandatory parameters here and mapping the input variables to make it consistent. Once we are done with the mandatory parameters, we are mapping the input variables here. The project amount, project lead and the project name. Yeah, of course the tax amount and the total cost also, which are configured uh, in the uh, custom variables. So here, if you see, there is a condition check. And uh, as you can see, the condition is already pre-filled for you when we imported the uh, BPM and file. So all that we have to do is we have to just go inside and uh, uh, validate that the conditions are uh, fine. And then we proceed to the next step, which is the CEO approval step. And we do the same thing over here. Uh, we just need to fill in the mandatory. Okay. Uh, first, we need to uh, replace this placeholder with the approval form, which is what we are doing now. And then we fill in the mandatory parameters here. Go to the inputs map the variables as we have done in the previous steps. Yeah. So project amount, project description, yeah, lead, the project name, yeah, we have mapped now uh, all the input variables. This is the mail task. So again, if you see the mail task is already generated for you, we just need to uh, fill in the uh, required details like to whom the mail has to be sent. We can this whatever you see here as the mail body is copied from uh, uh, the file uh, which got exported from the SAP uh, Signabio process manager. We just need to uh, adjust it if required and then uh, what we are trying to do is we are trying to adjust the uh, body uh, to reflect the amount uh, uh, for what the capex uh, uh, request is approved so we are trying to uh, just uh, put in that uh, details in the mail and we are saying apply now the mail task is also ready for you right so now uh, 
the entire process is now ready we can uh, proceed with the uh, uh, release and deploy of the project so the project is released successfully and uh, we will try to uh, deploy the project we will choose the environment and the deployment is once the deployment is successful it is like any other uh, uh, yeah now the deployment is successful and uh, the process is ready to be executed like any other uh, uh, process, right? So uh, you can see now like how easy it is uh, uh, to get the uh, process migrated from SAP Signavio process manager to build process automation with uh, just few manual configurations and uh, your executable process is ready. Uh, so in this demo, you would have seen that uh, the forms or the approval forms or the forms uh, were uh, having a, a placeholder and we were trying to replace it with the form, uh, with the actual form which we create here. Uh, but this is also uh, when we uh, gave this to the early adopters adoption customers uh, they gave the feedback that uh, you no know, like the user tasks or the form uh, the approval forms are uh, widely used in their processes and uh, it is good that that also gets generated so that that is uh, taken up uh, um, and uh, it will soon come out uh, uh, predictively that you don't have to uh, uh, even replace uh, uh, the placeholder for forms the form will be uh, generated automatically for you so wherever uh, there is uh, uh, no direct compatibility only those artifacts you need to create an sap build process automation then you fill in the uh, mandatory parameters you map your input variables and your process is ready so it is uh, the migration path for any customer uh, who has developed their process in a bpmn compliant tool it becomes very easy so this is what we wanted to uh, uh, show as part of this demo and uh, we have uh, released a blog you can uh, uh, check for the blog uh, for more details and yeah, thank you. Uh, over to you, Rika. Okay, thank you, Rama, for showing us and helpful capability of importing and utilizing the uh, BPMN, Business Process Model Notation File for Enterprise Automation with a real-world use case. Thank you, everybody, for being with us till now. I hope uh, you found this session helpful. I would like to remind you, at the end of the day, we will release a session tutorial to validate your understanding of today's sessions. It will be having five questions based on all the five sessions of today today and carries 1200 points do answer the questions and earn points to level up in the devtober fest game board we have four more sessions in the lineup for the day do take part i wish you all a happy time ahead take care thank you